All right, in this video, we're going to review how to divide with polynomials. So obviously, I'm going to take this uh, p plus 9 and put that in the front. OK, you should always check and see if there are any missing terms so that you would need a 0. Are, are there any terms missing here? No. No. 3, 2, 1, none. Everything's here, So, but always watch out for that. So I have 2p to the third power plus 21p squared plus 20p minus 54. So the first thing you do is you say p times what is going to give you 2p to the third power. What's that going to be? 2p squared. 2p squared. And I like to line up my like terms, so I'll put my 2p squared right there. Then you take your 2p squared and you do a distributive property with it. So 2p squared times p, of course, will give me the 2p to the third power that I wanted. Now I'll do 2p squared times 9, and that'll give me 18p squared. All right? Um, but next you change the signs. So this is going to become a negative 2, and this will become a negative 18. Um, yes, but definitely be prepared to do long division because um, it's likely that on the test it's going to say long division. Okay, um, so what was I saying? All right, yeah, so everyone should, I, I encourage everyone to do these two problems by long division, because that, that's why they're here. You, you'll be doing synthetic division like 100 other places on this test. This is the one spot for you to do long division, so please practice your long division right now. Okay, um, so I would subtract these, and uh, so these are going to cancel out, and this is going to give me 3p squared. Right? Okay. So now I basically start over. So I'm going to bring down my 20p and my minus 54. So I start over. And I say p times what is going to give me 3p squared? 3p. 3p. So I'll put my 3p right there. Then I take my 3p and I do the distributive property with it. So 3p times p is going to give me 3p squared. 3p times 9 is going to give me 27p. Yeah. And then I, okay, and now I have to change the signs. So I'll have negative 3p squared and negative 27. So that's going to give me negative 7p, and I bring down the minus 54. Uh, so I start over. So now I say p times what is going to give me negative 7p. So that will just be negative 7. And I take my negative 7 and I do the distributive property. So negative 7 times p is negative 7p. Negative 7 times 9 is negative 63. And then once again I change the signs. Okay, so what do you get for your remainder? Nine. So you get 9 for your remainder. And what do you do with that remainder? Over. You put it over the p plus 9. So it's 9 over p plus 9. So this would be your final answer for number 3. Any questions? All right. Again, uh, please do long division on number four. Don't do synthetic. All right, you still with me, Ari? Keep, keep writing, keep writing. All right, so once again, I'm going to go with my x minus 7. Um, are there any missing terms I have to worry about? No. Yeah, yes. yeah, the 0x, OK? It goes from squared to the constant. So we do, we do need a 0 term this time. So I'll have an x to the third power minus 7x squared, OK, 
Okay, and then we'll do plus 0x and then minus 5. Okay, so x times what is x to the third power? All right, that should just be x squared. If I take that and distribute, x squared times x is x to the third power. x squared times negative 7 is negative 7x squared. Huh, interesting. Um, now I'm going to change the signs. So this will become negative and this will become positive. Now when I combine like terms, both of these cancel out. That's just a 0. So it's going to come all the way down to just simply a negative 5 right now. That's all I have left. So um, so that means uh, this is just going to be the remainder. It's kind of a weird problem. Um, but that's it. So negative 5 is simply the remainder. So I'm just going to have negative 5 over x minus 7. All right. Or I could have put, instead of putting plus negative 5, I could have put minus and then 5 over x minus 7. Either way. All right, so that was a little bit of a weird problem, but there you go. All right, any questions on number four?